In this video, we're going to build a very simple app in the App Inventor, and we're going to demonstrate it on the emulator. Now, I've already built the application. I'll build it over for you. I just want to show you what it's, how it's going to work. Uh, basically, in the introductions lecture, the introductions assignment, rather, I asked everybody for a favorite keyboard shortcut. And I have a selection of favorite sh keyboard shortcuts here. Uh, for example, Control-Alt-T, open a new terminal window in Linux. So I'm going to go up here to this text box, and I'm going to say Control-Alt-T. Open a new terminal window. I'm going to choose Add Hint to Collection. Now this is a collection of hints. I've entered a few before this video just so we'd kind of uh, prime the pump a bit. And the idea is, as soon as I click Show Hints, you'll see a random hint appears as a notification. Control-C to copy. I can click again. Uh, this time we get a duplicate Control-C to copy. But anyway, our app is going to add several hints to this collection, and then Show Hints is going to allow us to see one at random. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to go to ai2.appinventor.mit.edu. Uh, as I said, I'm going to do this project over again so we can do it together. So I'm going to choose Start New Project. Uh, project name, we're going to call this uh, Keyboard Shortcuts. Well, OK, can't contain a space, so we will uh, take the space out of there and choose OK. And we see now we get a very simple canvas, and I love how easy this is to do. This is entirely browser-based. So I'm going to take a text box. I'm going to drop it here. And over on the right, it's going to give me uh, some information about the text box that I can change. So I scroll down, and you see how we have this hint for text box. So that's what's going to show up in the text box when it's running, kind of as a, like a lighter gray color. In the old days, when I, was in, when I was an undergrad, a lot of times we would put a label above a text box or next to a text box. We have to remember that space comes at a premium at, when we're developing on a mobile device. So a lot of times, what goes in the text box, uh, what the label would normally be, we'll just make that a hint. So I'll say, add, or I'll say, enter a helpful keyboard shortcut. One other thing I'm going to do, I could make that multi-line, which might make some sense, uh, but actually I'm going to change the width of it. Width, I'm going to choose fill parent, parent, which means go all the way left to right, and I'm going to choose OK. You see, that gives me a little more text because, or a little more room. As I have a bigger screen, I have more area to work with. I could also do some other things. I could make it a fixed percentage or fixed pixels or something like that, but uh, this will be good for us for now. So I'm going to take a button, drag and drop it below, and you see this uh, now says button 1, and it says text for button 1. Uh, so I am going to give this a, a better label. We're going to say add shortcut. So kind of like adding the keyboard shortcut. Okay. So you see so far this is very much a drag and drop environment, a very easy to use environment. Now, let's go under the covers. I'm in the designer view now, which is where I'm setting up my layout. As soon as I go into blocks, I'm in an area where I can, I'm essentially writing code, but I'm doing it with a graphical user interface. So to start with, I can take my button one, and when that's clicked, I can make something happen. So I click on button one. When button one click, I'm gonna drag this and move it over into my viewer. And this essentially is an event handler for button one. That means, okay, when button one is clicked, I'm going to take this action. Now it's up to me as a developer to decide what that action is going to be. And what can that action be? Well, in this blocks view, take a look on the left, and you'll see control, logic, math, text, lists, colors, variables, procedures. Quite a bit of stuff that we can do here, but the magic is it has to fit this shape. It has to be this kind of curved in with a little indent right here. So if we take a look at something like control, if then that would fit, because you see how it has the curved in and it has a little indent. So uh, the indent means it can be called by something. And then you see it leaves with a little dimple as well, which can be chained together with another one of these indents. Very straightforward. So let's say that 
when our button is clicked, we want to find out what text the user entered into uh, the text box. And maybe we want to show the user that text. We won't worry right now about doing, you know, a, a list. We'll just start very simple. So we want to see what text was there, and we want to show that text to the user. Okay. Well, how are we going to show the text to the user? Let's go back to designer view and we see right now we have a very simple user interface we would need to have a place where we can show that text to the user what i recommend we do is we get a notifier this is what's going to create something like a toast where a toast is a notification that the user can see so i click on the notifier and i drag it over and it doesn't matter where i place it because this is what's called a non-visible component in other words it only becomes visible when it's required. It's, it's going to put those little messages that you see at the bottom of the screen. So this thing is simply called Notifier 1. All right, fair enough. I go to Blocks, and now I say when button 1 click, then I'm going to say do Notifier 1, and we are going to find Show Alert, which just shows a message. Uh, could be any, you know, we could look at, we could show a warning, we could show an error. In this case, we're going to call notifier1.showalert. But notice the little dimple that's here again. Okay, notice that that shape will fit within this button click. So I simply drag and drop. And I'm going to say call, uh, when button one click, call notifier1.showalert. Alert. Notice. Now what's the notice going to be? Well, it's going to be whatever is in this text box. And what's the text box? The text box is this area where the user is entering text. You see here it's called text box 1. So uh, in the blocks view, again, we're going to see text box 1. So I'm going to say show alert, notice, and we're going to say text box 1. And we are going to say dot text because text box 1, the text attribute of text box 1, contains whatever string the user wrote, whatever characters the user wrote. Textbox1.text. So I drag and I drop. Okay, you see what I have right now is a very simple program. We simply enter text into the box, click the button, the button takes the text from the text box, shows an alert. Let's watch it, let's watch this simple application run on our emulator. I'm going to uh, scroll up just a hair here. Uh, of course, I'll save the project just to make sure I don't lose anything. And then I'm going to choose connect. Now, before connecting, uh, I'll refer you to a previous video where I installed the emulator on my laptop and AI starter is running. So if you get an, if you get an error that says, I uh, can't find AI starter, that's probably because you do not have the emulator running. Just see my pre previous video on how to do that, how to get that set up. So I'm going to say emulator. Actually, sorry, I'll say reset connection because I already have this one running. And then I'm going to say connect, and I'm going to say emulator. And at this point, it's going to go look for the emulator and load the app onto the emulator. The emulator is running now, so I'm going to grab one of our shortcuts from our list. We'll say the shortcut that I like most is Alt-Tab. And so I'm going to type in here, and I can either use the soft keyboard here on the emulator or my keyboard on my computer. Uh, we'll say Alt-Tab changes across applications on Windows OS, something like that. And then I'm going to choose Add Shortcut. And you see Alt-Tab changes across applications on Windows OS. In other words, allows you to change from one application to another. And you see, as soon as I choose it, it appears as a notification. Now, we know that right now I don't have a collection. It's going to, just going to show whatever is in the text box. So if I shorten it, Alt-Tab changes across application, add shortcut. We see that now it's just going to show whatever is in that text box. So we will add a list. Let's add that in our next video, though. In this video, we've seen how to create a very simple App Inventor app that uses a button, a notifier, and the text within a text box. Thank you.